Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Tej, and today I'm going to be making some beats for Future, similar to his recent projects in the style of ATL Jacob. And without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So to begin the melody, I got this bell preset from Electra X and kind of sounds like this. And then I went in here and just drew out these notes in the piano roll. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Um, and then I just took that same pattern and just pitched it down an octave. So then I got a synth preset in Electra, kind of sounds like that. And then I drew out the chords with it, um, just added a couple melody notes here and there. And then I pitched it down and played the thirds in an octave lower. And in the whole beat, it's pretty much just played with the higher bell melody. So it just sounds like this. Then I opened up this bell with harmonics preset in purity and drew out these notes. So then I put a half time, a couple EQs, and a chorus on it, and now it sounds like this. And so for more complicated melodies like that, you probably want to put some half time on it so it doesn't really conflict with your main melodies. So in this case, it's my octave down bells. So then that half time kind of gives it enough room for both of them to coexist. And this would be good basis melody, especially for like the verses. It's not too high on the mids. The highs and lows aren't really overpowering. It really gives a lot of room for the artists to kind of do their thing. So that's pretty much it for the melody. I'm gonna move right into the drums. So per usual, I started off with a sub bass. And then added a snare. So it just plays the third beat of every measure. So most of these rolls here, the ones at the beginning, this one, and this one, um, those are mostly done by using this tool here. You click on the magnet, go to the third step, and then just fill in these boxes and kind of adjust the velocity. And then these quieter rolls here are done with the six step tool. And so that's how you kind of get those, those deeper sounding rolls. All right, so then I added some open hats to that. So then I added a spin zeta weight. Um, I added a little bit of boost and turned the out knob up a little bit. And so this is the sound you get. and then added a kick. So for the most part, the kick hits on the same spots that 
the 808 also hits, but there's some places where it kind of just accents the 808, doesn't hit exactly on it. So that's pretty much going to do it for me. I'll play the full beat right after this. As always, thank you for watching the video. Check out my other social medias in the description. Leave some recommendations in the comments. And yeah, I'll see y'all later.